there was a baseball field, there were basketball courts. Um, you know, people were incarcerated here for months and, and years. But during that time, they had to make a home here. And I imagine try to find some measure of happiness uh, in their day-to-day -day lives. And I guess this is a place, one of the places where that, that might have happened. Sure. We've learned yeah. that there were sometimes games that had one or 2,000 people here watching the baseball games. Um, it was definitely a place of competition and joy um, and a, also just a way to spend time when you can't go anywhere else. Yeah. I think it probably brought the families together, the Niseis and the Iseis, right? Because the Niseis would be playing and then the Iseis could watch. So even though this whole process disrupted the family structure, this is some place where everybody could kind of come together. Would you play ball at a place like Manzanar? I'll admit it, I felt some hesitation. After all, this place brought so much pain to so many. But resilience is part of Manzanar's story too. And that's why the National Park Service encourages visitors to play on the surviving courts and ball fields. Maybe that can help us understand this place of sorrow go. and what baseball meant to the people in prison here even more.